Hello, my name is Jason, and I'm the guy that animated the little dancing cat in the newest Perry Grip song video. That cat video is fire. I was talking to my friend Perry, and he said that I should make a little how-to video to show people how I made that cat and how I made him so quickly. And I said, okay. Are you ready? Well, let's go. First things first. These are the tools that I use to make the dancing cat. I use my iPad Pro, an Apple Pencil, a computer with After Effects installed, Adobe's After Effects installed, and some plugins that I have inside of After Effects, but the only one that I really needed was a plugin called Rubber Hose. I also used Adobe's Character Animator. Okay, here we go. Now I have my iPad Pro, and I'm drawing with my Apple Pencil. I'm uh, doing some rough sketches of a cat, a cute cat, a dancing cat, and once I land on an idea that I like, I go ahead and start inking the main drawing. And this is the important part here. It's important that you draw each element of the cat or your character on its own layer. So the body will be its own layer, each arm will be its own layer, each leg will be its own layer, and the face will be its own layer, the tail will be its own layer. Now. When you're all done drawing your character and you got him looking just the way you want him, now it's time to go quickly through the layers and name each layer. So the tail's gonna be called tail, the left arm's gonna be called left arm, right arm, right arm, body is the body, and in this case, since the body and the head are attached, it's just the body layer is fine, or torso if you prefer, the legs, etc. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to export our drawing as a Photoshop file, a PSD, retaining all of the layers that we have here. Now you might be wondering, Jason, what did you draw your cat in? Well, I used a program on my iPad Pro called Procreate, which is a great program, but you don't have to use Procreate. You don't even have to use an iPad Pro. You can draw your character in whatever drawing program you prefer to use. As long as you can make layers, you're good to go. If you want to draw them in Photoshop, knock yourself out. If you have an old copy of Corel Draw from 1987, feel free to use it. It's not really important what program you use or how you draw your character. What is important is that you have each of the layers individually drawn. So each one's got its own thing going on. I was thinking about this the other day and actually you could probably even draw your character on paper and photograph each of the limbs with your mom's iPhone or something and then take those photos into Photoshop and cut them out that way. That way you don't even need an iPad Pro or an Apple Pencil or any of that jazz. You just need a computer with After Effects and the rubber hose program. Anyway, let's continue. Okay, here we are in After Effects and I'm going to import my cat PSD. I'm gonna make sure to import it as a composition just so I can retain the layers, the individual layers of our body pieces and so I can maintain the resolution from the original image. Okay, now you see we have our cat and all of our cat's layers in After Effects. And look what happens when I just go ahead and grab onto his eyes and move him around. Look, he's already animated. We just made a cartoon. Now you see how all these individual layers, you can grab them and move them around? That's how we want them. Each one's gotta be its own layer. Now, since we drew this guy at such a high resolution, and our frame size will be 1920 by 1080, and this guy's way bigger than that, we can zoom in on him, we can get close to him, we can put him really far away, we can make lots of him, we can do pretty much whatever we want. So let's get cracking. Let's get to rubber hose and I'll show you how to use that and turn this guy into an animated cat. Okay, here's the rubber hose plugin. This will be the plugin we use to create all of the bone structures and the joints for all the limbs of our dancing cat or whatever character you've decided to draw. All right, here we go. Go ahead and select one of your limbs. I'm gonna select this leg right here. Now that you've selected the leg, go up to the top of your screen and find the little thumbtack. We're gonna take that thumbtack and we are going to click in the positions on the leg where we think the hip would be, the knee would be, and where the ankle would be. And once you've done that, go ahead and press the letter U. 
That will select the three joint positions you've just created. And then we're gonna run back over to the rubber hose plugin. We're gonna select the third button here called the rubber pin. And once we click it, it will magically turn those three thumbtack puppet positions into multiple layers, into a hip joint, a knee joint, and an ankle joint. You can then grab with your arrow tool and drag them around and move them around like they are a limb, an arm, leg, whatever it is that you're working on. The main thing at this point is to grab the lasso tool and connect the hip joint to the body or your torso layer. And now that you've done that, you can grab your torso or body layer and move it around and you'll see that the hip joint is connected. It will go wherever that body goes. Now, go through each of your limbs, the other leg and the other two arms, and do the same thing. Take that puppet tool, create the hip joints, knee joints, and ankle joints, and be sure to connect the shoulder joints of the arms to the body layer, and hip joints to the body layer. And then for the tail, do the same thing. We'll just treat the tail like it's a, an extra arm. You can go ahead and click in the shoulder position, the knee position, and the ankle position, and then connect the shoulder position of the tail to the body. Now that you've done that, let's go ahead and start keyframing, that is adding keyframes to our cat and make him dance around. I'm just gonna add a keyframe for his up position and his down position, then I'm gonna copy and paste those and run them all the way through the song, trying to keep with the time of the music. And then once I've done that, I'm gonna then move his arms and his legs a little differently so that our cat looks more dynamic. And look what we did. We just created a dancing cat. Now what about the face and the mouth? That's next. Okay, as you can see, I'm opening Adobe's Character Animator. And once that opens, I'm gonna go to the main menu, which will show me a bunch of different puppet faces that are pre-made. Sometimes I like to draw my own mouth and load them into Animator, but that will be saved for another tutorial. In this case, we're just gonna use a pre-made mouth and face. I'm gonna select this guy right here because he's got pointy teeth, kind of like a cat. And then I'm gonna open him up. And then I'm gonna go through all of the layers that make up his body, background, everything. And I'm gonna turn everything off, except his eyes, his eyebrows, and his mouth. So now I have just the eyes, eyebrows, and mouth. And I'm gonna go ahead and adjust those and make them larger so they take up more of the screen Okay, he's looking good. So let's go ahead and import our audio track. This will be your actor speaking, or in this case, it'll be Perry Grip singing his song. That cat video is fire. Okay, as you can see, we have the waveform down here. And now what? What we're gonna do now is we're going to select the waveform and the face layer, and we are going to go up to the top of the menu and click the Timeline tab. We're going to select the tab that says Compute Take from Scene Audio. And once you do that, look what happens. The computer then goes through and analyzes all of the words and creates mouth positions to match the vowel sounds and the consonants of the words that your character is saying, your voice actor is saying. How cool is that? It's pretty much automatically done. Okay, let's go ahead and export our face with an alpha channel. And once the computer has finished that, we're going to grab that face and bring it into our After Effects project. Now, once you've brought the face into your After Effects project, go ahead and add it to the top of all of the layers we created earlier, the body layer, arm layer, leg layers, all of that stuff. Put it way up at the top. Now you see, we got a cat face on the cat body. Now let's go ahead and use the lasso tool and attach the face to the body layer, like we did with the shoulders and the hip joints. There, 
He's all attached, and look, when I play him back, his face is moving with his body, and he's looking good. Now let's go ahead and export our cat out of After Effects. And when we do that, let's add an alpha channel to our QuickTime file. That way, we can just bring that file into Adobe Premiere and lay our animated cat into any of the cat footage that we want to add the cat to. We can change the color of the cat by tinting him, we can create multiple copies of the cat, whatever we want to do at this point. If you want a special cat that's doing a little something differently, so you have a couple of cats, just go back to your After Effects file, do some different keyframe positions, and export that guy with an alpha channel. And that's pretty much it. You've just made an animated cat, or whatever character you decided to draw. I hope this was a lot of fun, and keep in mind, I use the same process for all of the shows that I make on my channel. You can pretty much do whatever you want with these simple techniques. If you have any questions or comments, just go ahead and leave them below, and I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.